everybody doing? We're back again with another video. And in this video, I'll be giving you my thoughts on smart guns. Some of you may know what they are. Some of you may not know what they are. Um, so I'll be explaining to you what they are and initially why they were even a thing. And because they are real. It's a real thing. Now, it's, they're not used in, you know, they're not used a lot. That's why some of you might not even know what it is. But politicians like to bring them up. And Joe Biden specifically has brought it up. So actually, I'll read a quote from him. This was a quote in the 2020 Democratic uh, debate. He says, and I quote, Lastly, we should have smart guns. No gun should be able to be sold unless your biometric measure can pull that trigger. End quote. So, essentially what it means is he was just saying, oh, no gun should be sold unless it has smart gun technology. And obviously smart gun technology is where the firearm has a safety uh, safety mechanism that requires your fingerprints to fire the gun. So when you grip the gun, um, the fingerprints are a certain part where your, fin your, print your fingers touch it and then it registers it and then you can fire it. If you don't have, if the correct fingerprints aren't on there, it won't fire, supposedly, right? Well... At first glance or when you first hear it, you might think, oh, wow, that's cool. It's safe. You know, your child can't um, fire it if it gets to it. Your whoever. It's all safety, right? But think about it this way, okay? I'm not a fan of it, right? Now, I'm not opposed to them designing these and stuff. That's cool. But essentially, Biden and all, Biden and all the anti-gunners typically want to force you, as you can see in that quote, he said no gun should be able to be sold unless they have smart gun technology. So essentially he's trying to force gun owners to have smart guns, right? I have a big problem with that because one, he, who are you to tell me what I can and can't use for defense, right? What if I don't want to use a smart gun? You know, what if I want to use something else, right? You know, so, and another reason why it's a bad idea is... We all know technology is inconsistent, I should say, right? It works sometimes. It doesn't work sometimes, right? And that's a common thing with most technology. Your phones, TVs, smart TVs, anything like that, or anything that has, you know, technology integrated, it, it, it's, uh, it works and it doesn't work. It works, it doesn't work. Well, with a defensive firearm, you can't afford to have a gun that doesn't work period. You need the gun to work all the time, right? So that the, the integrating that technology in firearms, basically here, I'll explain it this way. For those of you who have phones that have the fingerprint um, unlock screen, right? Ask yourself this, how many times has, has it failed on you? How many times have you put your finger on there and it didn't register it, right? Just just regular. Your fingers are fine, are normal, nothing. And you put it on and it fails. Okay? That's essentially it's going to be the same stuff with the smart guns, right? I mean, it's fingerprint scanning, right? And also with the fingerprint thing. Your hands are wet. Typically, it doesn't work. Any liquid or anything on your hands, it typically doesn't work. Even in a sweat, sometimes they won't work. You know, a lot of times it won't work. Um, so there's a lot of potential problems that the smart gun deal, you know, it's, it's really not a good idea. If you want to own it, cool. I wouldn't own one for defense. I mean, if they're not crazy expensive, which they probably are, who knows? I probably would get one just to, for shits and giggles. You know, I got a smart gun, you know, but as far as defense, no, nah, I'm good. You know, so, um, you can look them up um, uh, on YouTube or wherever, and you'll find them and you'll see them. But they're not; it's not something that you want to really bet your life on. You would have to give that give it time. But there's too many potential problems with a smart gun for it to be forced for America to have as a defensive firearm. It's that simple. And you know, with with typical. With typical guns, you know, see the thing about, okay, this is how I explain it. Me, 
I'm not a fan of safeties on guns, right? For the most part, I'm not a fan of them. Like I, if I, if if I can go without dealing with a safety, if I can have no safety, I won't get it, right? So that that's already like, you know, the safeties is already like a lot that could go wrong, you know. So you got your your grip safeties, you got your manual safeties, you got your uh, all that stuff. You got like your um your magazine disconnects, which is annoying as hell. I don't even know why they even did that. Um, those are already potential problems, you know. And I'll probably do a video on why I don't like safeties. But now you're gonna bring technology that scans fingerprints. What if you get a wrong grip on the gun? What if you get, you know what I mean? It's just it makes the gun less safe, in my opinion, because if you have to use the gun and you either don't get a pr proper grip or your fingers are sweaty, let's say, let's say um, you just got out of the shower and your hands are wet and you have to use it, that is not safe at all. And some people might say, oh, well, what about the kids? Listen, we've went centuries and centuries, century, hundreds of years. This is how far, however long firearms have been around without smart gun technology. And there have also been kids around since before that. So there's ways to <laughs> assure that your children don't get a hold of your firearms. One way, and you don't have to go, go expensive route on this, is buy a safe. A safe that has a lock or whatever, right? That's it. There's another way you can do it. If your kids are very small, put the firearm up somewhere, like high up, right? Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, what if they do? That's a way that you can do it. If you can't afford a safe or whatever, then do it like that. There's ways, and it's common sense, there's ways to get around that. There are, you know what I mean? It's, it's simple. You don't need a smart gun for it to be extra safe. You know what I mean? It's just stupid. And, what, and then if the, if the technology malfunctions, then what? You know what I mean? And you know a gun like that is going to be expensive. You know it. You probably, you know it's going to be expensive to buy. It's going to be expensive to fix if there's an issue. So it's just another political talking point to disarm Americans, you know? And I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on here. You know, let's say we all have smart guns, right? You know technology can be hacked. You know, that c it can be hacked. And what if the government becomes tyrannical and decides to hack all the smart guns now you're completely unarmed and you know just a just a hypothetical here you know there's a lot of potential problems with them and i would not recommend buying one of those for defense at all you know and if you even want them at his, at his defense you i would wait until they iron out the kinks but me personally i'm not going for that i want a gun that will fire when I need it to, and it will be reliable, you know, so, and there's plenty of guns out there that fit that bill, you know, so, but smart guns, mm -mm, not, I'm not buying it at all, and we all know why Joe Biden wants us to have smart guns, you know, we all know it, so it's, it's no surprise, so that's pretty much it, I mean, that's all my thoughts on smart guns, that's a dumb idea, it's potential problems that are all, all over, you know, and, you know, they, you, while they do seem kind of cool, you know, you think, oh, a gun that you can fingerprints and it fires, and if you don't, it doesn't, you know, it's like, it's like, nah, not, it's not that big of a deal. Um, we have guns already that work just fine, that don't need any of that bullshit, and, yeah, everything's fine, so, but yeah, that's my thoughts on smart guns. This is a quick video. Don't have too much to say about it because I've never dealt with them. I've never shot one. I've never owned one. So can't really speak too too much because I don't have too much experience. I don't have any experience, actually. But I just wanted to give you my opinion, you know, about it because it's one of those things where you look at it and it's like it seems it's like one thing, but then you look into it and it's a whole completely different thing. So, yeah. So that's it for this video. Subscribe if you enjoy the content, like the video, or if you like the video, and only if you like it. Comment any suggestions, any anything, criticisms, anything. I'll be glad to answer your comments below, and go subscribe to the Centerfire Podcast channel. I'll 
put the links and all that in the description. Um, and then go subscribe to Mark's channel. You know, he makes good content. So I would go and check him out. And yeah, so I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.